What's good with my people? We in the kitchen. We finna benefit our bodies. Let's get healthy, y'all. So we on this alkaline meal today. I'm finna make these good tacos with this homemade tortillas, which is the main ingredient that makes everything so much better. Makes these tacos so lovely, these burritos, whatever you want to call them, flatbread, blah, 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 flat bread, whatever you want to call it. But check this out. You already know I usually get started all the time. So I got these chickpeas, garbanzo beans boiling right here on the stove. You feel me on medium. And then this is my butternut squash that I put in the oven. I just set it in the oven at 400 degrees, baked it for about 20 minutes and you know, let it get soft. So what I'm gonna do is just take off the skin. I'm gonna take everything out and I'm gonna show you what I do. So uh, you're gonna be able to see that. And then I also have some lovely um, squash or uh, what do they Cucumber. call this? No, this is not a cucumber. This is a uh, zucchini. Zucchini. There we go. Thank you. This is a zucchini. Z zucchini squash. Uh, we're gonna cut this up with some some onions, and this is just gonna be some sautéed um, some sautéed uh, vegetables for it. And then I'm gonna have my home homegrown vegetables out the garden, not my garden, but from the farm that I got from the farm. And we're gonna put this concoction together with the tortillas like i said which is the the greatest thing ever you don't have to buy tortillas no more from the store you can just make these and they're gonna be so lovely and then i'm gonna show you what it do in just a second i'll be back we ain't healthy over here uh -huh. Chickity check your health before you wreck yourself. Chickity check your health before you wreck yourself. Chickity check your health before you wreck yourself. Cause eating all that meat is bad for you. So chickity check your health before you wreck yourself. Chickity check your health before you wreck yourself. Chickity check your health before you wreck yourself. This process food is bad for you. This water is more important than gold, yeah. Got fruits and veggies, so give me some more, yeah. Only farmers markets don't mess with the stove, yeah. I see this healthy life getting big down the road, hey. So we starting it now, never slow. It down. Abundancy with the fruit is going around. Just listen to Mother Nature, it's all in the sound. You don't need a book, cause everything all in the Food never eat below the line. We just trying to change the world, but we gon' get them all the time. Hey, watch your environment. I know they never told you. Facing your demons, cause I know they trying to hold you. We spread the knowledge, but it's only for the chosen. I can plant the seed, but are you interested in growing? Hey. Check your health before you wreck yourself. Chickity check your health before you wreck yourself. Chickity check your health before you wreck yourself. Cause eating all that meat is bad for you. So chickity check your health before you wreck yourself. Chickity check. Check your health before you wreck yourself. Chickity check your health before you wreck yourself. Cause processed food is bad for you. If you love yourself, you gotta check your health. Better respect yourself before you wreck yourself. If you don't do for self, deal with the cars you dealt. Cause pharmaceutical drugs is bad for you. Hell, you dealing with another corporation, they only in it for money. You lacking it. You're getting healthy and all that good stuff, you already know. So, this is another special ingredient that just makes the taco so lovely oh my gosh but it's this homemade hummus 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 all that it doesn't matter what you call it it's english it doesn't matter but this is lovely so uh let me see you're gonna need to boil you some garbanzo beans boil you some garbanzo beans get you a food processor and transfer Put that in there. Transfer. Yeah. Transfer those beans over. Transfer those beans over. Right, so this is the ingredients that you need for your hummus. You need you some salt some oil, some lemons, and some greens. Uh, so yeah, put the greens, you can put the greens in there. Put the greens inside of, uh... 
Oh, okay. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm gonna cut these out right here. So you wanna get no seeds in there. Squeeze you some, squeeze you a little bit of lemon juice in there. Ooh, my bad, my bad. Got okay. you all in the eyes. Squirt it and mace them. Mace them with some lemon juice. A super weapon. So caution, everybody be careful when squeezing lemons in front of the kids. You might juice them in the eyes. Oh, no, I didn't sneeze. I just coughed. I probably see that piece. I need that. So put a little bit of that in there. Add you just a little bit of oil. And then you can start. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can add a little bit of salt in there. I just shake, 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 shizzle. I know I don't be, uh, I still don't be using too much hold on hold on hold on i still don't be using too many uh measurements and stuff like that i just just i'm so used to doing it i just already know how much shakes i need and all that so yep that's all you need let me get in my fitting mode feeling extraterrestrial finna eat me some vegetables because this meat got me skeptical healthy my healthy body i'm not trying to be sloppy fast food killing everybody these restaurants they ain't got so we have the vegetables all sauteed up looking nice and I just use, I put the um, the bonzo beans in here, and I just use this to smash them up just like that. And so then it's got like that. Season them with some salt, some pepper, and some uh, coriander, and some cumin. I say cumin. Don't don't correct me on how I'm saying my my uh, my seasonings, y'all. Don't don't do that. It's English. But yeah, you know that's just uh, what we did with that, and then. This is the hummus right here. Oh, uh, looking well and nice. Got the squash over here. We're finna make this bread. This is the most important part. Y'all finna miss it. I almost forgot. So the reason why it has this, uh, so the reason why it has this texture, I actually added the, the squash in there. I just mixed it up like that. Just added a little bit of squash. My bad, y'all. I'll be always just doing it first. And then uh, showing y'all later. I'll be actually doing that on accident. I'll be in here uh, talking and stuff. And I'll be forgetting to record. So I'll just do it afterwards. But yeah, it's, it's simple. It's real simple. So, you have know, flour in here. Coconut sugar in here. And we added some salt. Like I said, I don't do no measures. I just do it based upon how much I think. You know, this is gonna be enough for I think this is gonna I'm, I'm, I put this much in here because I want it to last actually uh, until you know the next couple of days. I wanna be using this for a couple of days, so when I'm done with it, I'm just gonna put it back in the freezer and cover it up. And uh, use it, so check this out. What you gonna do is just add some water, add your water in there. You want it to be thick. You want everything to be thick, you know. So add it, mix it, add it, mix it. So you got a dough. It's a little doughy. It's a little doughy. And then you do it. That's all you gotta do. And again, I'm gonna show y'all again one of these days. Because I didn't show you how much I put in there, but you really don't need a lot. It's all about proportion, you know, proportion in your, uh, your sizes and using that good eye that you got to just know, like, okay, that's enough. That's what that seems like too much. See, like this right here, look. This, this, this ain't. This ain't doughy enough right here, you know? That's why sometimes using measurements is good. But it's good because I can just add some flour to this right here and get it that doughy. So it's all good. Add too much water. Get your dough out. I'm gonna get your flour out. Add you some flour in there. Just add you some flour in there. Into it. Look, 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 look. No measurements. Probably save some time if I did. But it's good. And now it's getting thick. It's thickening up. 
It's thickening up. There, look. See that? See that? I can't even. I can barely even. Uh, it's a workout. You gotta use that left hand. Get that left hand in there. Steer with the left. Just so we can get that brain function working good. Scary movie. You ever did do it to the Lord's hand? Oh, yeah. Get that brain function in. Add some more. We need some more. I don't use a lot of flour like this, though. That's one thing. Use my good hand, my left hand. Get it in there. Look how doughy it's getting out. See? And then when you you should be able to grab it and without it just falling apart like that. But you should be able to grab it and just make some dough out of it. It should be kind of kind of solid. There we go. See? It ain't just falling. Okay, I did that time, but you know, you know what I mean, y'all. Get it in there. Work it. Work them, uh, work them, uh, the man muscles. Get it doughy. All right, so this is pretty good right here. This is pretty good for me. Now it's doughy. It's dough. This is how you make a pizza dough, too, right here. Get your pizza dough like this, and you got a good pizza. So there you go, look. You got some dough. Spank that dough, spank that dough. <laughs> <laughs> spank it, spank it, spank that dough. So yeah. Get you some dough. You good thing. Now I'm gonna show you what's next. I'm gonna show you what's next. Hold on first. Lay some uh, flour down. Knead the flour so it don't stick. Get this little piece right here. Got the oven on, ready. All right, so look, add that on there. Get your little dough. Go ahead and smush it. Go ahead and smush it, smush it, smush it. Thin flat, right? See that? See that real thin, real thin. Take it. You look like Ted. Throw it right over here on your pan. Throw it on your pan. It's too big. It's too big for this. Should have used a smaller, a bigger pan. Throw it right over here on the pan. It's gonna start bubbling it up. You wanna flip it. Then you wanna flip it again. Then flip it if you need to, and flip it again if you need to. But after that, you should be good, y'all. I'm gonna show you in a second, hold on. <laughs> Take off this tortilla. Put that on there. You need this ingredient, this hummus. Add your homemade hummus on there. Add your... Add your, uh, your little Burr. mixture. Uh, I forgot what it's called, yeah. The squash and uh, garbazo squash. beans. Squash beans. Squash no, beans, I don't want that. I don't want that. No, 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 no that. And then just wash you some vegetables up. Mm -hmm. Mommy, put that back, please. Yeah. I don't need that. Mm -hmm. Is this from the farm? That's what one. Is this uh, from the farm? Put that on there. Go ahead and put that on there, then. Hey, no stem. Huh? No stem. No stems? No. That's it. No. That's it. I'll eat the stems. Huh? Fold. And enjoy, my people. Here you go. So there you have it. A little burrito yeah. for your family. Hold on, Mama. One second, I got you. Yours is coming up next. So go ahead and try that out. Let me know how it tastes, y'all. Into the next video.
again, I will be back at y'all a lot more. I promise you. All right, y'all, let's get it.